untold story of Megan's secretive two-year affair with Corey, who helped lift her spirits after her first marriage had broken down. Through exclusive interviews with the man himself, his mother and Megan's inner circle during her years in Toronto, when she was filming the series Suits, we've discovered just how close she came to marrying Corey, the real reason their relationship faltered and how, through him, she gained access to the loftiest levels of society, and, ultimately, the high-powered friends who would introduce her to the prince. As an avowed foodie, whose slender figure belies her weakness for calorie-laden dishes, Meghan Markle loves to dine out. And during the summer of 2014, she penned a gushing review on her new lifestyle blog in praise of a small but fashionable restaurant near her Toronto neighborhood. With its salmon pink walls, tattooed and t-shirted waiters, and potent killer cocktails, the harbored room was a magnet for the young, artsy set, and Megan, who ate there with fellow cast members from the television series Suits, drooled over its much-lauded burger, saying it was the best thing she'd sampled from the already impressive menu. The actress expressed equally unbridled admiration for the restaurant's co-owner, Canadian celebrity chef Gory Vitiello, who had been taught to cook as a child by his Italian grandmother and started his first catering business from his home, in a sleepy provincial town, when he was just 15. And maybe that's part of it, the small town charm and moral compass of someone who doesn't come from the big city, but dreams big thoughts and makes them happen, that makes his food so approachable yet inspired, said Megan, proclaiming Vitiello, then 35, her very favorite chef. Yet it wasn't only his culinary skill that impressed her. What she omitted to say, in her eloquent paean, was that she was falling headlong in love with Vitiello, whose Scandinavian and Latin genes, his mother's ancestry is Swedish, and his father, a retired PE teacher, is of Italian descent, had combined to produce a stubble jaw Adonis. That summer, they began an intense relationship that would last for almost two years, causing many in their circle to believe it would lead to the altar. In fact, when Meghan published that glowing review on her now-closed blog, The Tig, their romance might have been advancing apace. And when she asked Vitiello, in a Q&A-style interview accompanying the critique, how he relaxed of an evening, by eating whatever my loving girlfriend brings me, he replied, they were probably sharing an intimate joke. Dropping hints about her romantic status on social media is something of a trademark for Meghan, who first indicated that rumors about her love for Prince Harry were true by posting an image of two spooning, smiley-faced bananas, a favorite fruit of his. Certainly, the timing of that internet post in 2014 fits with what I've learned about Meghan's secretive affair with the chef. For the review appeared on 10th of July, 2014, and, in an exclusive interview, his mother Joanne Vitiello told me her son's relationship with Meghan began around that time, after Meghan visited the Harvard room with friends from Suits. The full inside story of Meghan's courtship with Vitiello, which began a year after her divorce from film producer Trevor Engelson and ended shortly before she met Harry, has never before been told. Her most recent screen appearances had been minor roles in two forgettable films, one a gallows humor comedy, Get Him to the Greek starring Russell Brand, and she was one among legions of anonymous actors striving for stardom in a remote, cliquey and, during the long winter, forbiddingly cold city. The personable chef mingled easily with these major social players at his restaurant, and rubbed shoulders with them at charitable galas and other events. So when Meghan became his girlfriend, he provided her with a passport into the most influential echelons of Toronto society, a clique whose connections spread far beyond Canada. Finally, Meghan dumped him because of connection with Prince Harry. Asked whether the prince was a factor in Markle's breakup with her boyfriend, a source close to Vitiello said, I can't comment on that, Vitiello said.